Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Interactive, where I give you the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history in chronological order, and then you put them in your own top five order in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling nerd on. Starting off as we always do in chronological order, 1925, Stanislaus Zabisco defeats Wayne Munn to win the world heavyweight title in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, beginning his third reign. 1946, Danny McShane defeats Ernie Peliso in Hollywood, California to win his sixth world light heavyweight title. Hitting super fast forward to 1991, the WWF taped the 29th edition of Saturday Night's Main Event at the Civic Auditorium in Omaha, Nebraska. The show would air on April 27th on NBC and earned a 7.7 .7 rating. This was the final Saturday Night's Main Event before the move to Fox in early 1992. The show sees the Ultimate Warrior defeat Sergeant Slaughter by disqualification and... In the main event, WWF Intercontinental Champion Mr. Perfect winning a 20-man battle royal that had Hulk Hogan, Marty Jannetty, Shawn Michaels, Jake Roberts, and many others in the match. Just four years later, in 1995, the Sandman pins ECW Champion Shane Douglas to win the title, ending Douglas's second reign and beginning the Sandman's second reign. And last, but certainly not least, 1996. Brian Pillman was severely injured after falling asleep while driving his Hummer H1 in Kentucky and driving it into a tree trunk, flipping the vehicle. He was in a coma for a week and suffered a shattered ankle, forcing doctors to fuse it together in a fixed position. And those were your top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. I'm pretty sure I know what my number one is. What's number one for you and the rest of your top five? I look forward to finding out in the comments below. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.